The Lions also reportedly made a light offer for Debo Samuel. They ultimately made not that huge of an offer to move up 20 spots, but the Vikings took it, and the Lions took Jamison Williams. And that's an important point because the Lions showed that it can be done. You can go from the bottom of round one to go up and get one of these receivers, something that the Packers did not do. Here's Brian Gutekunst explaining why he didn't make a big move to get a receiver last night. Uh, we certainly explored some options. Um, there was a little run on receivers there, I think, you know, and once that kind of happened, I think, um, you know, we were, we were kind of like thought we would stay and pick, and, and that's, that's kind of how it unfolded. I think there's some really good receivers left in this draft, and we'll kind of see how it, how it plays out. We have uh, nine picks left, you know, so we got a lot of ammunition, um, whether we stick and pick or move around. So we'll kind of see how that goes, but I don't feel we have to do that. Uh, I like our football team. I think I've spoken on that before. Um, we'd like to add players at every position, and that's, that's the receiver position is no different. But I don't feel like I have to. Um, so we'll kind of see how it, how it unfolds tomorrow and on Saturday. You know, I can glean something from Brian Gutekunst's attire last night. If we can pull up a full screen. Like, just indulge me for 30 seconds. This is the last PFTPM for who knows how long. So let me just have some fun here. <laughs> they have mandatory shirt and tie draft night at Green Bay. And Brian Gutekunst isn't happy about it. And you can tell by the way the collar, you can't really see it there. The way the tie meets the collar, it's just a little sloppy there. He does not want to be wearing a shirt and tie on draft night. But it's somebody else's rule that draft night is shirt and tie. Anyway, it was somebody else's expectation that they were going to go get a receiver, but not his. Not his idea. He was going, and no collar stays, by the way, for Brian Gutekunst. It was Damn it, I got to wear a friggin' shirt and tie tonight. I, oh. yeah, let's go. All right, let's go find it. I oh, said friggin', not like Sims. You almost day. did it again. But I don't know. We can, we can drop F bombs on this show now, apparently. I don't know, man. <laughs> if you want to try, go ahead. Go ahead. Some can no, get no, away I'm... with it and some can't. <laughs> apparently, Sims I'll can. Let... I have yeah. yet to muster the nerve to try it. Sims <laughs> got away with it. I'll let you do it, and then maybe I'll get the no. Andrew chair for next year. <laughs> no. Um, Anyway, anyway, look, and I, Aaron Rodgers even said this to the, uh, last night on Pat McAfee. Well, you know, we've found some receivers over the years that aren't uh, first rounders. Jordy Nelson, Devontae Adams, that's fine. But none of those guys walk through the door and were told, hey, you know what? You're our new number one receiver. Go out and behave accordingly. They had time to develop. They had time to grow. And are, are they going to draft a guy tonight and say this is our new number one receiver? I mean, good luck with that. So I, I, don't, I don't get it with the Packers or the Chiefs, but more the Packers than the Chiefs, because the, the Chiefs at least have other weapons you can feel good about. The Packers just don't right now. And I think Aaron Rodgers made it clear last night he thought Devontae Adams was staying when he decided not to leave. Yeah, that is kind of funny, isn't it? I saw you and Sims talking about that earlier today. But I, I think some of what this is is your lack of confidence in Matt LaFleur. Because we all have confidence in Andy Reid, right? I mean, Andy Reid is one of the best coaches that this league has ever seen, especially on offense. All right, so we know that Andy Reid can develop guys, develop receivers. We know that Patrick Mahomes can get the most out of guys. And I think over the course of time, we've seen Aaron Rodgers work with different receivers and elevate them to new heights. Well, you're not going to have a number one guy in Green Bay this year unless all of a sudden they go out and they trade for somebody. It's just, it's not going to happen. So what they need is to have guys who can fill certain roles. Now, I don't know what that's going to mean on third and 10, and you've got to have it. Where are you going to go? All right? Because that, that ball was going to go to Devontae Adams before. And everybody could know it, but Aaron Rodgers was still going to find a way, and Devontae Adams was still going to find a way to make sure that thing got done. They've got to get to somebody who can at least have enough roles, you know, where it's like, all right, we, we know that we can count on this guy in certain situations. But yeah, it, it's not going to be, okay, there's this number one guy. It, and I think Matt LaFleur is smart enough to know that that's not how they're going to be able to construct their offense. They're going to have to have guys for certain roles, and those guys are going to have to perform those roles extremely well. Yeah. No, I, look, I, I think that the Chiefs, even though Tyree Kill in my mind is better than Devontae Adams, I feel like the Chiefs otherwise have the infrastructure to get past this. The Packers are going to struggle, and the Packers, I think, had a greater need to make that move that the Lions made. And if Jamison Williams ends up being great for the Lions, the Packers are never going to hear the end of it because the argument's ah. going to be, guys, you could have done the same thing. 
you could have made the same move. You could have moved 22 to 12 and gotten Jamison Williams. The Vikings traded within the division. They would have done it with you, although maybe the Vikings wouldn't have given the Packers the 12th overall pick. We'll never know. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.